G'day YouTube, and in today's video, I'll be making a serving tray. I begin by ripping down various offcuts into thin strips, which will be laminated together to form the base of the tray. Here I've combined both the soft wood pine with various hardwood to create a nice pattern. Okay, time for the glue up. Yep, no mucking around here guys. Plenty of glue. This type of clamping seems a little unorthodox, but it does the job. And now to clean all the excess glue away, as this will make sanding a lot easier. The sanding process on the underside took a lot longer. This was mainly due to all the excess glue stuck on the paper. With the base of the tray nice and clean, I trim one end, which gives me an overall dimension of 21.6 inches by 12 and a half inches. Okay, ready to make the tray frame. I begin by running these links through the thicknesser several times until I achieve my desired width of 0.59 inches. The two ends of the tray are docked at 13.3 inches long. I then cut a 45 degree angle at both ends. The sides of the tray are docked at 22 and a half inches, complete with 45 degree miters. I lock the fence in position, then cut the two sides at two inches wide. Here I had to make several passes to create a 9mm rebate for the bottom tray. I carefully aligned the two sides with the two ends then marked with a pencil and with the help of a couple of brad nails and an off cut strip I then managed to mark a nice little curve.
To prepare for the glue up, I carefully apply masking tape on each of the four corners. There's always an air of excitement and a sense of trepidation when doing a glue up like this. Okay, moment of truth. Yep, so far so good. The ever reliable band clamp. It makes a great investment for all your box making. Manage to knock up a 45 degree spline box. We'll see how we go. With the splines all cut, I managed to find a couple of offcuts in the cardboard box. Splines add a decorative element to any project, as well as adding strength to the mitre joint. I place a thin cardboard strip in between the splines to stop the saw blade from potentially scruffing the tray. As you can see, it failed dismally.
I initially wanted to use a wax, but instead went with an oil finish to highlight the texture of the grains both in the pine and hardwood. This product has a lovely lemon aroma to it, it's 100% natural and is food safe.